Hello and welcome. I'm Rashim from Oracle and I have with me Diane and Sean from AI Solutions. Hi Diane. Hi Sean. Hi Rashim. Hi Rashim. So tell me more about AI Solutions. What do you guys do? We provide services for the space industry. We do spacecraft navigation, trajectory design, and launch services for NASA, the Air Force, and commercial space. That's right, and it takes many forms. We have commercial products that are used for simulations. We do a lot of custom software development for ground systems, and we also do a lot of data computational services. That's great, so let's talk about what you built in the cloud. Well, it starts with one of our more recent commercial products called the Deep Space Trajectory Explorer. The Deep Space Trajectory Explorer is a JavaFX application which visually allows the user to design spacecraft trajectories to distant targets such as Saturn and Jupiter and whatnot. It does this by taking, allowing the user to specify a lot uh, of the parameters of the design space and it sends it in our architecture up to services that are running in the Oracle Cloud infrastructure which then computes and then returns the results back. And I use this tool down at Johnson Space Center where we're designing the next generation of manned missions to the moon and beyond. And I'm using the tool to design transfers in between lunar orbits and other trajectories in the Earth-Moon system. Wow, next man to moon mission? That's exciting. It's quite complicated and the data design space is very dense. Okay, and so that's where bare, uh, the bare metal services that we've, we've employed thus far have really helped. So here's how it works. The JavaFX client allows the user to specify the parameters around the design space. Now, all those parameters taken into account create a very large, dense data space. This is a very sensitive design space where a tiny little change to your initial state or to your maneuver creates a huge change downstream. So it's really hard to design these orbits. Yeah, so it's not only critical that we, we sample all the space, but we have a very precise sampling, which it means a very, a, even more data. So those parameters are sent from the Deep Space Trajectory Explorer through a remote function gateway that is provided via Gluon CloudLink, and that runs on Oracle ACCS. That remote function then forwards the parameters to what uh, basically a REST service, which is running in the Oracle Cloud infrastructure. In this case, it's running on an Oracle bare metal standard uh, compute uh, instance with block storage, and we utilize a 72 core, 500 gigabyte uh, footprint. Now that's really important because we often, a lot of our scenarios have to compute over a million different trajectories and we have to then turn around and filter those, sort, filter and return just the top 10 or the top 50 to the client. And then I don't have to manually dig through all these millions of, of solutions. I can look only at the top ones that already satisfy my mission constraints. Right, and the best part is, that the, the, the high performance that comes with an Oracle bare metal compute instance, it allows us to do all that in seconds and then return those results to any type of client. This has allowed us to not only have our JavaFX visuals on the desktop, but we've begun porting those JavaFX visuals to mobile devices such as tablets. That's very, very exciting. Well, thank you so much for sharing with us what you built in the cloud. It's our pleasure. Thanks.